Yeah, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna spend just a minute, um, give you a couple of thoughts I've got about the community, and then hand off to Hugo, the next sucker, and uh, let him spend some time with you. Um, whatever he wants to say, I don't know, I don't, I'm done. Uh, <laughs> so, I'm gonna bring up my slides. <laughs> All right, good deal. So, first some thanks, I already did that. Didn't know I was gonna MC myself, so I had to put that in there. Um, let, let's talk about cloud stack traction for a second. Um, we have an enormous number of really satisfied users. Um, this is a stat that we've used a couple of times. Um, it, it's, it's a little bit old, but in the first six months of uh, getting um, into the Apache Software Foundation, we measured the total number of unique IPs that had downloaded um, the, the cloud stack packages from the repository uh, that one of our community members actually manages, so both RPMs and Deviants. Um, so 18,000 over the course of six months. Now that was, we thought that was cool. That's a, that's a lot of you know, small clouds and you know, probably some very big ones being installed. Um, and then during our, our last collaboration conference in, um, in Amsterdam, we got to looking at the logs just out of interest and take, took a look at the last 10 day period and we saw 1,800 unique IPs within a 10 day period. So that just kind of showed some, um, some pretty good uh, growth. And in reality, what this means is we've, while we've got lots of really small cloud stack deployments out there, there are hundreds, right? Uh, Citrix is a distribution of Apache cloud stack, right? So they, their commercial product is, is based on us. Um, we know that they're, they're claiming about 300. Uh, I don't know what the specific number is. Um, but I also know that we did a user survey a while back, um, and simply by observing the user list, um, we've, we're seeing providers pop up all over the globe. Um, in Nigeria, there, there's a cloud stack provider. Um, you know, we, we see them all over South America at this point. Um, obviously, you know, Japan is um, wildly interested in cloud stack. Uh, China, China is going extremely well uh, for another distribution of, of Apache cloud stack. Uh, that I believe Trend Micro, uh, Trend Micro does. So they're, they're just going like gangbusters in China right now. So the software that we produce as a community or that you use as a, as a member of our community um, really is making a very, very large impact on IT services. So we have got a fantastic dev community. We are one of the most active projects at the ISF in terms of total number of um, active contributors and, and, and commits, right? This is something that, you know, good, bad, or otherwise, it's not like we're trying to compare ourselves with other projects. Uh, as much as to say that we are a very active, healthy development organization, and that's fantastic. There we go. You can look at all the code we've got. You can kind of turn that into a monetary value. Lots of different systems for that. Depends, you know, depends what system you use. But, but the result is we've actually created something that you know, the intellectual property value itself is in the millions, right? The economic impact is, is at this point, probably approaching billions, right? So we really are making a, a, a big impact there. And we are attracting more and more developers. Um, I, at this point, don't get to spend quite as much time on the development list as I would like, um, given uh, day job responsibilities. But every time I pop in there, it seems like there are new faces that are actively engaged already. Um, and that's great. And that's a testament to both how welcoming all of the, the engineers are that, that work on the project today, or you know, do that for their day job. It's also a testament to how welcoming um, the, the user community that's, that's embedded in you know, the mailing list is, um, so it's all real positive stuff. So sometimes users can be loud. Uh, I wish all of our users were loud, but sometimes users can be loud. The, there are global user groups, and you know, I would be remiss not to really point out two specific ones. Um, I think that the uh, European user group is doing amazing work across multiple countries, and I think that the Japan user group uh, is doing amazing work. I actually just got back from Japan. There was an event there about a month ago. Um, it was Cloud Stack Day Japan, and there were 500 uh, attendees to that event. Um, amazing traction there. A um, lot of not just you know, uh, individual interest, but corporate interest. Uh, there's a lot of commerce going on around our, our project in Japan. Um, users are helping users as well. This is something that, that I love about the CloudStack community. If you haven't spent time on the user list, if you, if you don't actively uh, you know, read it or you're not subscribed, even just go, go take a look at the archives. It astounds me the number of users that are willing to help other operators of CloudStack deal with a bug, 
um, work around a particular configuration problem, troubleshoot uh, an issue that may have nothing to do with cloud stack. It could be a hypervisor issue, it could be a network stack issue. Um, it, it's, we really have formed an incredible community of users. And we need to do much, much, much more of this. Um, the, the cloud stack PMC is um, <coughs> working to try to help more users be louder ab about the project. Um, we, we just started some discussions on this topic that you can expect to hear more from us uh, as time goes on. So what did I learn uh, one year uh, acting as the, the chair of the PMC? This community is fantastic. And uh, I really would not have traded the last year for, you know, for anything. So with that, I'm going to introduce the next sucker, uh, Hugo. <laughs> So before we get started, I would like to take this opportunity to thank Chip <laughs> for his awesome work. I mean, the VP, it's a role that some people think it's a soccer role. Some <laughs> people think it's actually important. Luckily, I'm not one of those. But I think Chip was the first <laughs> VP we had for Apache Cloud Exchange where we were a top-level project. So that means that he didn't only fulfill the role, he actually set the standard about how this role should have been done. And I think he did a really awesome job. So thank you, Cheers, Chip. You thank you so much. Thanks. <laughs> for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, and that's what it's all about. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, as Chip introduced me, I'm the next sucker. I'm the guy doing your uh, PMC chair. I'm the guy being the vice president for the uh, Apache Cloud Stack project. But, yeah. It's not about me. It's, it's about you guys. It's about, it's about community. So we're here today. There's 371 people who signed up for the CloudStack uh, Collaboration Conference. That's a pretty huge number. And actually, Chip already mentioned a lot of numbers already. But yeah, most of you know there's three kinds of lies. Lies, damn lies, and statistics. So I'm going to be talking a little bit about, about a lot of numbers. I spent the last couple of days when I was preparing this presentation looking at all kinds of all kinds of figures about the CloudStack community and what it's all about. For example, in this conference, we have over 40 hours of talks ready for you over the next two days. That's a lot of content. That's a lot of people willing to share ideas, dreams, practical things about CloudStack, ranging from developer talks, uh, user content, and of course, talks by our amazing sponsors who are going to explain to you how their products work within the CloudStack ecosystem. The people that are here, they're users, they're developers, and they're sending a lot of emails. There's on average 2,000 messages per day on a developer mailing list. A month. A month. <laughs> a month, sorry, Sebastian. And another several hundred per month on the user mailing list. What does that actually say about our community? What, what, what does it mean? Does it mean that we are a viable community, that we're doing a good job? No, it's just, it's just a random number. For me, what's important is the amount of content that's actually on the mailing list. 2,000 messages in itself isn't saying anything, but if you look through the messages and you look through what people are actually posting, there's people that are really thinking about CloudStack. They're thinking about how to take this project forward, how to use the project, and like Chip said, they're, they're out there helping people with CloudStack. So our project is very, much, is very much alive and it's going places. And you can see that by the people who are interested in the community about sharing their ideas and what they're doing with our, uh, with our software. This is probably not running CloudStack. Packages downloaded to over 110 countries. I didn't look it up how many countries you actually have in the world, but I think we have a pretty huge chunk. That's a pretty far-reaching effect for a project that's actually one of the best-kept secrets worldwide. I mean, if you look at the amount of people who said, yeah, we run a CloudStack instance, uh, there was a survey done, we have 300, over 300 known installations. If we have 10, 110, downloads in, uh, or 110 countries that download, why do we only have 300 installations? Why aren't more people standing up and saying, hey, we're using CloudStack? The numbers just don't add up. 
there's got to be more. We need to be more vocal, more active about where CloudSec is going and that we are, we are the best kept secret, but we don't want to be a secret no longer. We want to be the top project in, in clouds. We want to be the guys who make sure that clouds work. And there's work to be done for every of us. There's work to be done in marketing. There's work to be done in outreach. But there's also work to be done in code, expanding new features, adding new things that we can orchestrate, and making sure that our code is usable and stable for the next generation of users. So to do that, we have, we have committers. We have PMC members. At the moment, we are 74 committers. And the interesting thing is committers aren't only the people who write actual code. Our committers are doing so much more. It's a much broader community. It's people who do marketing events. It's people who focus on how to do outreach with CloudStack. There's also coders in there, and they're pretty important. But there's more to being a committer than just writing code. It's about helping the project along. There's 26 people in the PMC at the moment. There are people helping thinking about more than code or marketing outreach. They're thinking about legal issues. They're thinking about other issues. But actually, what's more important is that those people actually help the project guide it in such a way that we can have a, a lot of active participation. And we do, ha we do have a lot of active participation. We have 280 commits in the last 30 days. In itself, it's just a random number. But if you look what is, what's in those commits, it's going to be features. It's bug fixes. It's people working on our code base and making sure it improves, it can do more, and it can work harder. And of those commits, there's 52 contributors. 52 con contributors, and only a small fraction of them are actually people who are currently a committer. So that means that there's a lot of people outside of the community or inside of the community but outside of the committer group that are donating code. There's people there who have a, they return regularly and they do more commits, but there's also a lot, a lot of people there who just basically pass us by. They come in, commit a bit of code, commit something that they find interesting or to fix a bug, and move on again. And we see it, we see it picking up. There's so much uh, more people coming in into the project nowadays, it's, it's staggering. If you look at Olio, the graphs they have about our participation, about the contributors we have, it's, it's almost, it's exploding. It's going very hard. On the other side, the fun part is, we get a lot more committers, we get a lot more contributors on the code, and the actual amount of change code is going down. And I find that very interesting because I think that's a very important point because it means that we're not just randomly adding a lot of stuff to CloudStack, but we're actually thinking about what we're doing. So in the moment in CloudStack, we have over one and a half million lines of code. That's a lot, that's a big project. Over 70% of that code is Java code, and the others are different languages. We have uh, C Sharp in there, we have Python in there, we have a lot in there. If you look at the code, and some random statistics that are made by uh, Coverity in this case, we have 6.44 defects per thousand lines of code. That might be bad, might be good, I don't know. But what's important here is that with all those contributors, with all those people that are working on, there's a lot of work to be done. With 6.44 defects per thousand lines of code means that we have a lot of defects. But if we have so much defects, what are we doing here? Why is everybody here shouting their lungs out that this cloud stack is actually a fantastic product? Again, one of those numbers that's basically a lie. We have a very stable and very high quality code base, and we keep on continuing to improve it. We have our Jenkins system, our automated build and CI system, it's running 95 jobs. Executing over 12, uh, 1,200 unit tests every commit. And 121 functional tests. And for me, the functional tests are actually the most important. Even though there's, we can have some statistics about quality of the code and about where the, uh, how the code is structured, et cetera. But in the end, this is what matters. The functional tests that we have and the people who are using it and feeding us, feeding us bugs, feeding us uh, uh, information about how they're using it, they decide if the product is, is of a good quality. They're the people that matter. 
I don't care about statistics on, on bugs, statistics of light, uh, statistics on complexity. For me, the important part is that we have a usable product and that people are trusting this product to do their business on, that they trust it to run what's, yeah, to run their business, or that there's people out there who trust us to run, that basically to be a project they can rely on for their own future. So in the end, for me, there's only one important number, and that's that we are one community. And it is my distinct pleasure and I, to serve you as your new VP of CloudStack. And yeah, whatever it is I can do for you guys, I'm here. Let me know. Thank you. <laughs>